Today I'm going to show you how an advanced selector works. We've talked about uh, ID for divs and class for divs. And uh, I mentioned before that an ID will always start with a little hashtag and class will probably not. It'll start with either a dot or sometimes class has nothing before it. So all these things that have the hashtag before them, those are div IDs and thumb is something that is a div class that I have down here that controls the look and feel of each thumbnail that I'm going to put an image in for my image gallery. So what I want to do is I want to make an advanced selector. I can use any of anything in here in my um, I'm in nav bar. I should be in down here where all my thumbnails are. Um, so anything that's under the div class of thumb, if it's got a tag, I can give it an advanced selector and tell the CSS what it should do with that particular area that I'm working in. So I'm going to start by typing thumb space img left curly tag. And I have a leftover curly tag down here that I was playing with before. Hopefully I didn't knock anything out of place. So I'm going to set some parameters for my thumb image. First, I'm going to set a width. I want to make it like stand out, like where the image is going to be. I know down in the code, I've got my image source tags with nothing in there yet because I haven't put in the images anywhere. But I want to style them and make it look well, well, I'll give it a border so you can see where the image is. So to start, I'm going to put in a width parameter. And I'm going to set that at, um, let's say, 150 pixels. I'm going to put in a height parameter and set that at One fifty because I want this to be like a square. For margin, I'm going to put auto and just so we can see it, I'm going to put a border around it, which I normally wouldn't do, but this is just for the sake of being able to see it. So two pixels, solid, and I'm going to set the color of it to black. OK. So my curly tags are down there. I can take out a little space here. Leave the curly tag there. And now I've got my advanced selector in place.